everyone, welcome back to CJ Studio. Today we're gonna make a translator. This is what you're gonna achieve at the end of the video. Today our goal is going to be translate an English sentence, paragraph or word into Chinese for a friend. So first we're going to create a scene for two friends or characters, like monkey and cat. The cat will ask the monkey what to translate, or the monkey asks the cat if you like. And then the monkey will input what he wants to translate, like banana. And then the cat will translate it for the monkey, like banana. And then the monkey understands now, and then it will thank the cat. And then we'll tidy up the code by using variables. But don't worry if you don't know this, because I'm going to walk you through the steps, and we're going to do it now. So we're going to create two scenes for two friends. At the work plane, we're going to go into backdrops at the very corner on the right. Um, I'm going to choose a playground. Next, we're going to go into choose a sprite, which is right next to the backdrop. And I'm going into animals, I'm going to choose a monkey. Now we can put them in place. The monkey, we can put the monkey there, and we can put the cat there. This is the cat a little bit smaller, but first we're going to change the sprite's name, which is cat. And then now the size, we can change into 140, so change it to bigger, more than 100 is bigger, less than 100 is smaller. Step 2, the cat will ask the monkey what to translate. This time we're going to get when the flag clicked and put it in the work plane to start the program. And then we're going to get ask something and wait, ask a question and wait, so that you can type in your own answer at the very bottom of the program. We're going to write, what would you like to translate in that li little yellow, I mean white place? And then a question mark. Next, as you can see, there's the monkey place. We can't do anything because the monkey doesn't know when to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to broadcast a message get broadcast message and wait we're gonna that it's we're gonna do that because then the monkey knows what to do next and then we're gonna type in what would you like to translate but as you can see I just made a mistake a little bit then I fixed it now let's move up to step 3 monkey input inputs what he wants to translate First, we're going to get when I received a broadcasted message from Cat, so that the monkey will know what to do. Now, so we're going to go into looks and get say a word or sentence or paragraph for two seconds, cause so that the monkey can say out the answer to tell the cat. So we're going to get the answer from sensing, which is what you inputted at the very bottom. And then we're going to say it for three seconds. Now we are going to go into events. We're going to get a broadcast message to send to Cat. We're going to broadcast. This is to translate so that the cat will know what to translate and the cat will know that he's done telling him. Now let's move up to step four. Cat translates for monkey. So first we're going to go into events and get out when I receive the thing that monkey broadcast the cat. Next we're going into looks. I'm going to get say something for how many seconds. We're going to go into extension at the very bottom and we're going to press on translate. Then we're going to get the one at the very top, which is translate a word from English to a different language. Then we're going to go into sensing and get answer out. 
and put it in the place. I'm going to change that language to Chinese simplified. We're going to set it for three seconds so that people can read it properly. So now let's test it out. Press the green flag and then it'll start the program. It will ask what would you like to translate. We're going to write I like banana. And then the monkey will say I like banana. Then the cat will say in Chinese to translate it. I know it's correct. And now we're going to broadcast a message to tell the monkey saying that we've done translating it. So for our new message, it's going to be called done to tell the monkey. Now let's move up to step five. Monkey understands now and takes cat. So what we're going to do in the monkey section, we're going to get we're going to get when I receive done from the cat that broadcast the monkey. We're going to go into looks and get say something for how many seconds. I'm going to go into operations and get join apple banana. We're going to write in apple section that thank you very much. And then now since we need more space we're going into get another join apple banana. We're going to write it is and then we're going to go into sensing and get answer because we need the answers value. And now we're going into looks again and this time we're going to go and get switch costume to any kind of costume into a kind of costume from the monkey. We're going to switch it to monkey B. And now we're going into events. We're going to get one clicked and then going into looks. We're going to get the switch costume back. And as you can see, there's our shirt. That's what the monkey A and monkey B look like. And now we're going to test it out. Let's click the green flag. And again, I'm going to use I like banana for my typing for translating. And then the monkey says I like banana. And then it says in Chinese I like banana. And then it says thank you very much. I like it's I like banana, but I made a mistake. It's supposed to be in Chinese. So step six, it's going to tidy up the code by using variables. Now we're going to go into variables and we're going to create a new variable. This variable is going to be called to be translated. Now we're going to create another variable but this one is going to be called translated. Then press OK. So the to be translate is what the monkey said and the translators is what the cat translated it and it will like the result of the translation. Now we're going to get into get set my variable. We're going to set it to to be translate. We're going to go into sensing and get answer. So because we need the value of it, we're going to give it the value to it. And then we can go into variables and we're going to get to be translate because we already gave the answer var, like value to it. Now we're going to cat and we're going to get the answer out and put to be translate. And now we're going to get set variable. But first, before we do that, we're going to put set variable. So we're going to put set variable up to like the very top so that it'll set its variable. We're going to set it to translated. We're going to put the translate to be translate to Chinese simplified there because we, we're going to give the value to it. Then we can 
put translated in there. Um, now we're going to get the answer out of there and we're going to put translated there. So that it will be Chinese instead of English. Let's test it. So we're going to press the green flag. It asks what would you like to translate. We're going to type in I like banana. And then press OK. And then as you can see it's in the to be translate and translate it. And then it also says thank you. And then the Chinese. Now I'm going to show you what blocks were used and what they mean. First, in events, it's when flag clicked, is when you click the flag, it starts the program. And in broadcast message, it just broadcasts a message to someone. And when I receive message, is when you receive the message and what we do. In sensing, it has ask, what's your, ask a question and wait, which is when you ask something and then you have to answer. And in the answer, it shows what you've answered from ask something. And in looks, we have say something for how many seconds. The player will say something. And switch costume is switch to any costume or you could create one. Join apple banana from operators is when you join two things together. In variables, there's set my variable to, it's giving value to something. In translate, there's translate something to another language, translates one language to another language. That's all for today. Thank you very much for your watching and I hope you enjoy it. If it helps, please subscribe, like and turn on notifications so you won't miss any episodes. And also you can share with others. See you next time.